everyone and welcome to the newly released Amnesia Rebirth. Oh boy, am I looking forward to this one. So, just to be completely honest with you guys, I know next to nothing about this game. I kept myself away from any spoilers, even any trailers. I saw maybe 5, 10, 15 seconds of a trailer and that's it. I believe this is going to be set somewhere in Algeria. I think I'm going to be playing as someone called Tassie. That's it. I don't know if it relates to A Machine for Pigs or The Dark Descent in any way. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but we will find out as I begin a new game. I really hope you enjoy this, guys. Let me know your thoughts at the very end. Like or dislike the video, okay? Here we go! Oh, really? Oh. Well, I'm still going to try and win, but also immerse myself in the world and the story. Ah, oh, they're my friends! <laughs> well, you know what they say. Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. There is a moment when you realize what the pain has made of you. In hiding, curled in on yourself, unable to show the world your face. Acting on instinct, lashing out, even at those closest to you. Time has passed, and time is a thief. It has stolen your memories. The agony has faded, but so has every precious moment of joy. You have been hollowed out from the inside, and there's nothing left of the person you used to be. But you try. You try to remember how to smile. You try to remember how to love. And one day you crawl out from your hiding place and step back into the world. And then, every day, you do what you must to survive. Very nice. Really, that's a very nice detail and pencil drawing. What was that? Oh, cool. That is Algeria. Nothing. Don't worry. Pretending it's not there won't make it go away. <laughs> <laughs> Salim, it's just turbulence. It'll settle down soon. Yes, yes, I know. It's hard, though. You know, your head tells you one thing, but your heart disagrees. Try to sleep. I couldn't. I keep imagining what might go wrong. Hmm. I know someone who can help you. And who's that? Marka. Oh, <laughs> I had no idea you brought him. I didn't want him to be lonely. I know, my heart. It's good for him to have an adventure, but he'll be glad when this journey's over, I think. He's had a hard life. Has he? And there's so much more to come. <laughs> he does look a bit worn, to be honest. Oh. Alex? Oh. 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 get up here! Whoa! Hello. Can anyone read me? Wow. That doesn't look like Algeria. Or South Sudan. <laughs> Damn. Well, uh, maybe Salim was right to uh, to be thinking about what could go wrong. That felt very Bioshock, actually. Don't forget. Don't lose it. No. No, come on. Oh. Need to find him. He must understand. Okay. Don't forget. It's... It's her. 
It's all because of her! Focus! I am Tessie. I am still Tessie. I don't think she's going to remember. The game is called Amnesia after all. I'm fighting! I'm fighting! I'm trying anyway. Right. I survived the crash. You can make it. Okay. Come on. A little bit further. I don't see anyone else. Oh, what's this? Hang on. Don't forget. Is that Laudanum? <laughs> of course it is. Yeah, Laudanum. I... I have... Rodney. It will help, but you must try to keep calm, or it will get worse. Do not allow yourself anger. Do not allow yourself to fear. You understand me, Tassi? <laughs> Easier said than done, really. Go on, have a swig. Alright. So, that's making a welcome return. And that has calmed me down a little bit. Right, yeah. Let's get this plane up and running again. Where are they all? I don't know. Where's Salim? Maybe follow that blood stain on the floor. What have we got here? This is the sketch pad. Okay, we've got we've got the memories and reminders here. I have to remember, she will die. Find Salim. So that's that's the reminder. Memory? Oh, okay, so we got the, the memory of the, the Laudanum. Right, okay. And there's some memories that we haven't uncovered yet. Alright, well, I'm not going to go too far forward, because I don't want to spoil myself or anything, you know, but, um, okay. There we are. I look in my handwriting. I don't remember. Of course you don't. Right, well, let's see. This is I got a fork. Oh. Doctor. Hello? That's, Are you there? That's the doctor. I'm here. I'm here. Alright, let's see. Yeah, no sign of anyone. Hello. Whoa. Hello. This is Tazzy. Is that uh, working? Useless. This is Dr. Mania. Yeah. This is Ridder. Salim. Is anyone there? Yeah, none of this can really be used, unfortunately. It's all kind of busted. And to be honest, that's probably on a loop. Crew of the Cassandra. Right. The door's broken. There was a handle, I think. Aha, uh -huh, I think I see it. Before. Right, so tab for the inventory, of course. Yep, alright, just like before. There you go. Alright, let's try this again. There you go. Ooh, what is that on your wrist? Oh, Mother Mary. Wow. Really? Wow, okay. How did I survive that? How did anyone survive that, really? But I guess some people did. Help! For God's sake, help me! Okay. We can look inside people's suitcases. Finally! <laughs> it's a perfect opportunity to. I remember. People were hurt. In the crash, I was here. I think. Right. Where did they go? Where's Salim? We've got some camera equipment here. Not Salim. Uh, right, so... It's all right, my friend. We'll get you ah. So I must have been here before and I came back and I just don't remember. Strange. Leon, Jonathan, give us a hand here. Okay, there's more of the plane up there by the looks of it. That's, yeah, that's one of the wings. Um, right. No sign of anyone. Left side. Bandages. Quickly. I don't know where to start, to be honest. Uh, the plane was heading in this sort of direction, apparently, so maybe I should go in this sort of direction? I'm going to fry out here. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, that that's something I didn't have to worry about in the Dark Descent. 
What we got here anyway? Something down there? No? Yo. No, Rachel. What's up with Rachel? Is there something back there that I can uncover? Uh, not really, not really. Where's that bird eating over there? Yeah, fuck off. God. Oh man. Oh, God. Well, hopefully that doesn't belong to Salim. Right, so gotta stay in the shade. Right. Oh, interesting, okay. Hide mode. So it seems like you hold down control and you can almost go prone, but you can't move. So that's good. That's cool. All right. I'm glad there's hiding in this game. That means there's something to hide from. <laughs> ah, I think this is going to be a nice palate cleanser, honestly. Wait, thank you. But we've no choice. We need to get them to shelter. I know. It's Selim. He's hurt. You know what he's like. Let's get him down there, then you and I can sit on him while the doc takes a look. Don't worry. The caves aren't far. Okay. The caves aren't far, apparently, according to Hank. That's what he said before. Caves. Caves. Ah. Uh, okay. Uh, j just for a second, I thought I was going to find some sort of lantern. I mean, I, I don't appear to have one right now. You can see my inventory is bare, so... Yeah. Okay, let's just follow the trail of supplies. Yeah, we can run. Yeah, before that memory, I was going to say this is going to be a nice palate cleanser, especially after Remother 2, which was, for the most part, pretty much 99% <laughs> a disappointment. So, yeah. Salim! Right, hang on. Salim, are you there? That way, possibly? Over the dune? Okay, let's just go straight over here. Maybe we can get a, a good view of the area. This is nice. I wasn't expecting it to start quite like this. Can anyone hear me? Maybe down there? Hank! Doctor! Mm, looks like there's a box or something over there. Maybe from the plane. So, yeah, we're probably heading in the right direction. I haven't seen any more entrails. That's a good thing. me. I, I love the details that you can you can just see. Like my body, for instance. That's lovely. Ooh. Oh, there is a cave. There is. Oh, thank God. Got anything over here? Uh. Oh, chocolate. Oh, hang on. What's this? Rachel. Oh, right. Chief People Wrangler. Go on. Travel from Croydon Airport. A breath of fresh air. Must thank C for suggesting her. On top of everything, much better at it than me. Need to give her a bit of time to get to grips with the local scenery, but very promising start. Hopefully she could be a permanent fixture for future trips, if there are any. Right. Okay. That's nice. Rachel, yeah, she organized those lectures in London, and uh, Charlie back at the Institute recommended her. Got a good head on her. I like her. No, don't you give me that look. <laughs> I think I found another one here. Or is it... Oh, it's a postcard. Dearest Susan. Oh. Dearest Alfie. The stories don't do this place justice. It is amazing. You've never seen anywhere as busy as the market in Algiers. The smells, the flavours, the colours, and all oh, the noise. I may have picked you both up a little something. You never know your luck. All my love. Always. Dad. You never know your luck. You never know how bad it's going to get. Well, that's quite nice. So, uh, we got the journal back. Yep, okay. So the items, reminders, notes, and memories. All right, fantastic, yeah. Anyway, should we go in? I think we should go in. All right. Okay, good so far. Oh, Tazi, look at the hands. Such tiny, perfect fingers. <laughs> Hello. Hello, my little one. No. Okay. Right. Let's begin our dark descent. It's all right. I can manage. Come on. Not far now. Okay. Hello? Is anyone there? Someone was. Salim! I don't know if Salim was, but we'll, we'll find out. Right. Okay. 
Looks like that was only just put out, to be honest. Look at that Hold blood down there. Tightly, or the stitching will tear. Right. I... Oh, I am sorry. I will be still. Salim, I have you. I have you. So I was there with him, getting treated. At some point. Right down there. Right. Okay. Anything else? Uh, yeah. This is us. Ah. Huh. Salim and me. I brought this here. Love transcends law. Okay. Feels very interstellar, but yeah, sure. What is it? I... I had something to say to you. A whole speech, something poetic, but... You don't need to say anything. I know, it's just... <laughs> I never thought this would happen. Any of this. You and me, I would never have imagined. Salim. There is no one I would rather spend my time with. No. <laughs> really? Stop worrying. I'm in love with you, you idiot. You are my heart, Desi Trianum. <laughs> I said no poetry. <laughs> These pencil drawings. The, the memories. They're reminding me a lot of Penumbra, actually, which is a good thing. And we can't open the box? Nah, I was hoping to find some laudanum! Right, yeah. But they're empty. Gah! Fuck it. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Looks like someone made a, a makeshift bed out of that. What else we got? Oh, there's, there's a couple of things over here. Um, a list of the people on the plane, I suppose. Yeah, right. So James, Rachel, Alexander, Richard, Anton, Leon. Yeah, okay. An engineering drafter, that's me. Anastasi Trianon, right. Anything on the back? I notice a couple of these have been crossed off, that's never good. One of the pilots, yeah. Where did they all go? Uh, that, I suppose, was the flight plan, essentially, from Algeria down to South Sudan, right? Yeah, okay. Something, hang on. Looks like there's something trapped in here. Oh, what's this? Oh, we got the matches back! That's good! And we got breakable bottles. Fantastic. Hey, it's me. Okay. <laughs> Sassy Tazzy. Really don't know how best to handle this. Sure, she'll cope in the field. Uh, this is not a difficult trip. We've been on much worse. <laughs> That's what you thought. But the last year has been hell for her. That call from Paris. She sounded so broken. Guess all I can do is look out for her. Try to keep her busy. Need to prod Malik and Rachel to do the same. She's got Salim here too, which will help. I really, really hope this is what she needs. That it can start mending things for her. For both of them. What happened? Hey, I promise I won't bring this up again, but... I know this won't be easy on you. First time out again, you know? Whoa. So, if you want a break, you want to get away from people, any of that, just say Whatever you need. Okay. Alright, it looks like, uh... These are the two. Oh no! Salim. I'm sorry. Without Lucas, I cannot bear it. Oh, damn. The rest of you? This is not Salim's fault. I am of sound mind. Eva Ritter. And she chose to go out of her own accord. Right, so we got candles and stuff that we can light with the matches. I suppose I'm just going to keep hold of them. What's this? Oh, it's German. Wir sind Welt so stiller. Yeah, I'm not going to uh, read it in German. Nothing on the back, by the looks of it. There you go. Hmm. What's this? Oh, the Bible. Oh, wonderful. Ah, Lucas. Uh, Lucas, I think. Damn. Ooh. Okay, right. Let's get out of here. This is far too depressing. That way? Looks like there's something else to read. What's up here? Let's go take a look. I'm not really expecting to find anyone, but you never know. Maybe I'll find some more traces, some more memories or something. There you go. Toy car! The trip is worth it. Alright, we've got a doll as well. Uh, oh, there is actually something on the chair here. My darling Amanda, 
All right. By now you'll know about the crash. And you'll know that our situation is a bit sticky. We're off for a walk through the desert to see if we can find a radio or a village or some other sort of help. Everyone's putting a brave face on it. But no one really knows what's going to happen. So maybe this is it. Maybe this is the last you'll hear. If it is, I'm sorry, my love. I, I suppose it's my fault for wanting a big adventure. I should have stayed home after all. Please tell them both that I love them. Tell Susan that she's the best girl in the world. And tell Alfie to look after his sister. Oh, now I'm sitting here with tears in my eyes and my hands are trembling and uh, I just don't know what to write. I don't know how to say goodbye. I can't believe this is goodbye. I love you, my darling girl. I know in my heart we'll see each other again. Even if it's not in this life. You're Jonathan. Wow, okay. Pretty touching stuff, honestly. Yeah. Something else over here? Oh, yeah. Yasmin Chabani, Kabani, maybe? Interesting, alright. Hmm, alright, okay. Oh. What a beautiful girl. Is that your daughter? Yes. <laughs> My father keeps nagging me for grandchildren. <laughs> Did you leave her in Paris? Yes. Is she with her grand... Yasmin, I'd like to check the Sadiola samples are packed up. Give me a hand. Of right. course, Mr. Mitchell. Uh, sorry, Hank. Hank trying to change the topic of conversation there. I suppose something happened to my daughter. Right, and that just goes back there, does it? To the table? Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Right. Let's continue. <laughs> Maybe we're going to find someone alive at some point. But not before I take a look at this. To those who follow, oh, it's Salim. I am Salim Hanachi. I crashed with the crew of the Cassandra on March 3rd, 1937. I and others were injured. We stayed while the rest of the crew went for help. My companions are dead now. Oh and the radio is broken. I cannot wait alone. There is some sort of creature here. I must go after the crew as best I can. They followed the path through the mountain. I will leave signs. Tazi, if I do not find you, and by some chance you are reading this, know that you are my heart. Ah, okay. I'll follow his signs as best I can. Why couldn't you wait? I'll find you. I promise. And pick up matches along the way. What's that? Oh, that's something else to light. Okay. Right, so, through here. I can just about see. <laughs> Down there. Alright, so hang on. It was... It's R for matches. Okay. Right, so, something like this. Okay, I don't have to use an additional match for that, and that's great, and that's a little worrying. Alright, uh, this way. Maybe. Some... Whoa. Okay. Some down there as well. I think. Yeah. He said he'd leave a trail. Yeah, maybe that's it. Someone lit the fire though. Hang on. Oh, 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 never mind. Never mind. Down there. Go on then. What's this? I went to see Monsieur Esperandio at the market, but he has no more work until next week. I know that Tazi has savings and I know that something will come, but it is hard. It is not just two of us now. I want to know that I'm keeping them safe. Good man. Good man. This is from Selim's old diary. Wow, okay. I'm gonna need the light. That's right. I'm not sure this is the best idea. No! No, it probably isn't. But, you know, I think it's the only thing you've got. Right, there's another one over here. This is different. Yeah, I'm liking it. Uh, let's go left. Yeah, left is right. Mm, maybe left isn't right, actually. Okay, yeah, I don't want to increase my fear. Obviously. So I can light this. Perfect. And that too. Yes. Okay. 
Well, at least we're, we're sort of making these checkpoints as we go. More matches! Hey! Okay! Alright. Okay, again, going into the darkness. Hopefully I'm going in the right direction. No, he, he probably, probably didn't. Does that look like a nose and a mouth to anyone else? It is, right? That's like an old statue. Interesting. Okay. Wait, is there some? There's something there. She's sleeping now. Maybe dreaming, curling and uncurling tiny fingers. I sit here, looking at her, and I still can't believe this. How can I deserve it? Any of it. No, I don't know if anyone deserved this. Only now it's telling me to jump. Okay, we got some light. So yeah, let's go towards the light. Oh, never mind. Okay, hang on. No, I'm I'm freaking the fuck out. Let's get this lit up again. There we are. Oh, oh, there is something here actually. Hang on. There's a door, right. What we got? Ooh. Oh, I feel so much better in here. Do you? This is a little bit worrying to me, but go on. Holy Mother, hear my plea. Yeah. We got a chest. We got another one of these. Ah, uh, oh, no matches this time. Come on, what's it? Oh no, we got matches in here instead. Good. I think at some point we are due a lantern. Just not yet. Do I go back on myself? Or do I just keep on plowing ahead? I, I want to go back, actually. I don't want to miss anything. I want to explore. So, this way? Ah, never mind. <laughs> That was essentially just a waste of a match, but hey, at least I feel better about it. Okay. i got to use these fairly sparingly. I think... Yeah, your eyes do adjust to the darkness, but that's obviously increasing the fear. Especially when stuff like that happens. Oh dear. That's a representation of my fear, I think, the, uh, the sort of weird black vignette around the, the screen. Wait, there's a light down there. Okay, hang on. Let's get this lit up. Whoa. What was that? I don't know. Is that a bridge over there? I can barely see. There's certainly a bridge there. What's this? A letter came from Hang Mitchell. He offers her work. A journey to French Sudan. I pray that she will take it. It is what she needs, what both of us need. To be away from these memories. And back into the world. Right. I don't think this is exactly what you need. And hey, look at that! Nice. Looks like a little scarab. Hopefully not the ones from the mummy. Shall I do this in the dark? I'm going to do this in the dark. Oh, shit. Yep. I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> Here. Yeah, there's another one. And there's some more fire, so maybe Selim went that way? Right. <laughs> ah, gee! Okay. Mm. I'm gonna need some laudanum. Okay, no, no. Struggle! Struggling against what? I don't know. There's something. Whoa. My eyes. Right, right, right. Hang on. What's that over there? What? What's wrong with me? I don't know. You're getting some very, very strange visions. In the hell? Right. Well, let's stay away from any disturbing sights, shall we? Like that one. Fucking hell. Oh shit. Oh no! Oh shit. Ah! Oh, I probably should use more matches. No, 
no, no. I think that was meant to happen. Question. What is that thing on your wrist? Really? It's not like a fancy watch or anything. This isn't where I... How did I get here? Good question. What did I do? Huh. The pain... It, it, it's gone now, completely. Yeah. You're not afraid anymore? Okay. All right, look at this. Oh wow, what the What is this stuff? Floating rocks? For a second I thought that was a graphical glitch. I don't think it is. Right. Down here. Come on. This is weird. This is weird and I love it. Okay. Again. What is this stuff? It's not like a normal rock, is it? Okay, yeah. Gotta make sure what I'm crouching not to hold it down because that puts me into the hide mode where I can't move. This... This thing... On my wrist... It, what is it? It feels alive. Is it mine? Okay, uh, so we've got this amulet. That's what it is. It's an amulet, right. Seems to be pointing me to something. The hell? Alright, it's actually flashing. It's something something over there. Can we get to that? Yes, we can. Whoa. Okay, that, the amulet seems to be activating that. This is very sci-fi, isn't it? What the hell's this? Right. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not really surprised. So, that closes it back up. What the fuck? Alright. Alright. Well, I'm liking that there's more light here. We don't seem to be too far away from the surface either. Yeah. Which is great, because I've only got like hey. one match. How are you doing? Christ's name. How could I leave him? I know. I know it makes sense everything he said, but. But it's such stupid fucking self sacrificing bullshit. Listen. I know Selim. And I know you. I know what you're capable of. He'll make it, and you'll get back to him, even if all hell stands in your way. I'm so fucking scared, I am I know. Alright, let's keep on going. Deeper and deeper into the caves. If this is even the same cave, I'm not sure. Okay. Still got this? Oh, hang on. Why isn't it glowing anymore? I didn't break it, did I? <laughs> oh god. Maybe it's because there's none of those areas around. Is that what I saw? Is that the humanoid figure that got up? Maybe. Torches. Someone's been here. Yeah, Hello? fairly recently. Anyone? Unless, of course, they're like the Tomb Raider torches, which stay lit for thousands and thousands of years. Right. 
Yeah, this is the same thing, isn't it? Oh, right, okay, no, it's, it's not, it's not broken. Yeah, it is. Alright. There's little bits of this game that are reminding me of Penumbra, like the old Amnesia. This is a little bit Soma, for whatever reason. You're getting a touch of cryostasis. Canarium. Oh, that's odd. Alright. This way, yeah. Oh, there's something down here. I was able to meet them in the park this afternoon after talking to the factory manager at Dinar. A proud moment. Alice has learned to count to three with her blocks. <laughs> Good for her. She did. She did. She showed me. There, in the park. Okay, let's just get this out of the way. Are we going to find anything? Nothing that I can use. Right, yeah. I, I should probably stay away from areas like that, in a way. Unless I absolutely have to. I don't think uh, anyone else on the plane managed to get through. Right. Shit! Ah! Oh! <laughs> I wasn't thinking about that. Right, well, never mind. We were close to the surface. Alright, yeah, no going back. Not this time. Right. I really do like the environments in this. It's nice to to be in a cave system, you know? I think that's a good environment for a game like this. Through here? No, dead end. Never mind. Never mind. There's a bit of a gap there to a massive area by the looks of it. Let's keep going this way, though. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's... That's a little torch. It's like a wall-mounted torch. Not of human design, I don't think. Right. Can I squeeze through that? Yes, I can. Wow. Holy shit. Not in Kansas anymore. Look at this place. It, it can't be real. Well, this is what you got glimpses of in the plane just before it went down. Alright. Uh, this way? Is that a giant humanoid statue as well? What the fuck is this place? What a visual, really. <laughs> I'm really liking this so far. Uh,. Nowhere to go, though. And Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah. Push that down. That's it. That's it. Fuck you. Go around. Right. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Um, I don't know about this one. I'm gonna have to, like, drag that. And then... Whoa! Okay, fuck. <laughs> Nearly took me off with it. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of a... Precarious, a, a precarious situation. Wow. Has that got the same face from the uh, the drawings that we've been seeing? It might. It actually might. My bracelet. It's glowing again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, it's working. Fantastic. Oh, wait. Someone else was here. Wow. Someone else who cannot speak, apparently. So I'll do it for him. Nothing progresses. Time does not change things. Light does not move across the sky, nor does it grow dimmer or brighter, and yet time must pass. My mouth is dry, and I feel the pangs of hunger. Where his notes predicted instability of the flow of time around the junctions between worlds, where one step might carry one between years, but might preserve the body in its current state, or indeed, where the body changed, but time does not pass for the world around. Is that what has happened? Is this whole world frozen in a moment after its destruction? How could I ever tell? And what would change if I knew the answer? I have given up on the attempt to find the portal. I have a notion that I could apply away as predictions on the weakness of the fabric between worlds. If only I could map them in some form. 
Right, okay, well, good luck, man. Good luck. Is that what happened to me, do you think? Some sort of time travel? That's how I got back to the plane? Holy moly, right. Okay, we are going this way, it seems. And I am going to be on the lookout for notes. I wasn't expecting to be able to find notes here, but there you go. This way? Yeah, this way. Seems safer. <laughs> but Slippier! Whoa. Really? Whoa. Oh, Christ. Okay. Uh, what we got over here in the darkness? These sort of little pillars. It seems very artificial, a lot of this. I mean, certainly that, yeah. It's been molded, constructed. Right. What is that over there? Looks like there's a little house. <laughs> Wasn't really expecting to find something like this, but yeah, all right. Or this guy's notes. I must explore, for I must find a way to return. But stepping into the fog is like stepping into deep water. I am lost in a sea of whispering confusion. I need something to shut them out. Are they the dead of this place? Or only my own paranoia? My strategy now is to focus myself, clear my thoughts, step in and survey as swiftly as I may, then return. It'll be slow, but I fear it's my only chance. a body there, an actual body. I'm defeated. There's no way back. There's nowhere to go. I've searched for a portal, but there is none. I have triangulated the weakest points with Levi's calculations, but I cannot tear a rift, for I do not have a traveler's amulet, but I think I do. I did not heed Brennenberg's warning, yet what choice did I have? The shadow sensed the orb. I had to risk all and step through the portal. There is no water, and no other means of sustenance. I will not live long. If you, reader, traveller, from whatever world you come, if you comprehend, and if you know enough to speak of those of the human world called Earth, let them know this. I was the first to solve the mysteries of the Gate Builders. I was the first human to breach the boundaries between worlds. I, Professor Thurston Aloysius Herbert of Cambridge, England, was the first. God forgive me. There you go, there's a tie into the first game. Brennenberg and the Orb. What's this? No amulet. No traveler's amulet, right. Matches! Hey, we got some matches, we got yet more to read. There's a lot of reading in this. It seems like it's a fairly slow start, but I don't mind that whatsoever. There are shadows of the dead in the ruins. Those who lived here were human, or near it. So perhaps this was Zazura, after all. Or Eden. Or some other stronghold of humanity. But whatever this place once was, it has shattered. These must have been the gate builders, but what horror could cause such destruction? Surely even the shadow cannot destroy a whole world. There is no sign of a portal. Even if I were to find one, the orb was lost to the shadow, and I do not have another. There is something else here, staring in the fog. I see bright lights as it hunts, and hear its cries. I do not think it's alive. So, stay away from the fog, stay away from any bright lights. <laughs> if you hear any cries, go the opposite way, but it's not alive. Wait, there's something here too? Wow. I dread to think how many notes that I've missed, actually. Because some of them are blended in really well. Right. Four days south of Insula. Is that the Sahara Desert as well? Hang on. Yeah, I think so. Tunisia in the top, in the top left. Of course. Huh, alright. Yeah, I figured that out after I throw a book in his face. Not like this. There must be a way back. There must be. But it's not here. And what's that? There's so much detail in this, really. It's it's quite something. Okay. Okay, uh which way did I come from? That way? Yeah, okay, let's let's step on this side and go in this direction. I am quite wary that I might be bumping into something that I might not want to bump into, you know? In a place like this... I mean, 
come on, right? Something down here. Okay. The Tureg call her the Woman of the Tents, or the Mother of us all. A local tribe related to the Tureg, the Kel Hanan, call her the Great Queen. In legend, she is Tin Hanan, a Berber princess, who found a source of food in the desert and founded a Tureg tribe. The mound itself is named for her, and indeed her body may lie within it, in the ruins just beneath the surface. But there is more, much more, to this structure. It is clear that the deeper ruins are Roman, as Weir predicted, and there we may find a Mithraeum, set by the Romans to protect the gateway we seek. Once within, what wonders will we see? Probably less wonders and more horrors, but I guess we'll find out, won't we? I'm surprised I'm not freaking out more, honestly. I haven't really been keeping to the light either. <laughs> but she's holding it together. For her. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh. Brief flashes of lightning actually do show this place for what it is. How am I going to find anything in this? Oh, I've got no idea. Does this work? Oh, it, hey, yes, of course, it's it's working. And to be honest, there is that needle that does seem to be pointing in a direction. This way. Oh, I, I see some lights in the distance. That's good. Over here. I'm feeling very exposed and vulnerable here. Right. Yeah, this thing just doesn't turn on. Unless you're looking at certain things. What am I hearing? So is this... It's hard to see in the darkness, but... I think it's just sand. Or soot, possibly. Ash. Right. It looks like there's another building over there. Another little doorway, possibly? Let's take a look. There's an archway. There's a couple of little lights. Drawings? We got anything here? Okay. Yeah, some etchings. Maybe like hieroglyphs and ancient writing, but... No. Something over here. Right. Are we going through the wall? I think we are. First things first, though. What's this? There's yet more. It is working. Levi's calculations applied to the measurements clearly show a variance, as if there are great centers of attraction which draw all towards them. These must be... I... I think it's pointing me somewhere. I think you're right. These must be the weak points that Weir spoke of. I've identified two good candidates, and one excellent, but I have no means to proceed. The Traveler's Amulet, according to Weir, should focus these energies and provoke the weak points to tear open, forming a rift between this world and another. But I have no amulet. If I remember his treatise, rifts can form without an amulet, but that is down to the alignment of the spheres and their stars. I cannot move the stars. I will find some way. I must. Well, I have an amulet, so we're not waiting for the stars, thankfully. Does it? Does it really? Well, I mean, we do seem to be going back to the cave. Kind of. Right, hang on. No going back. Oh dear. Oh no. I don't know. I don't know. But this is not the cave I was looking for. Uh, did you do that? Oh. Oh, you're telling me about that? There's, there's a good reason, I'm sure. Great sound effects, too. Okay, yeah. I just have the feeling that something's watching me, and I just don't know it's watching me. Like, like I can't see it. Oh god, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. That's not moving. Is that a statue? That... Uh... <laughs> That's okay. What happened to them? And a stone? 
Medusa got to them. Oh, we did. Oh, right, right. The gate builders, right? Some humanoid form. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. I don't know. Christ. I didn't see anything, but I definitely heard something. Okay, I'm going up here. I, uh, I want the high ground. Ooh. Okay. Looks like you were going over here. Isn't that a, a shrine or no? No, just more dead bodies. Gotta be honest, I don't know what you're talking about. What? It's like she's seeing something that I'm not, and I don't know where. I can hear things, certainly. Okay. Oh, they're sitting down for dinner, are they? <laughs> right. Yes, I probably should. Right. What we? Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh dear. Okay, right, uh, maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe let's stay away from this. We're heading in the right direction. The more it lights up, the, uh, the better direction we're going, right? There's something over there. I saw the light. Something just went over the hill. I, maybe that's what she's seeing? Something in the distance? Right, well, you know, this seems to be the right way to go. I'm basing most of my decisions on this thing now. Down we go. Right, again, some lights. <laughs> I just don't want to get ambushed, you know? Okay, this way, like straight ahead. Okay, I think it's essentially a dead end. I think I'm just running into the rock there, but maybe if I can go around, if I get on the other side of this wall, maybe. Oh, okay, yeah, now we're talking. Oh, shit, hang on. I'm hiding, I'm hiding. Oh. That actually did spook me. Was I seen? It's gone. It's gone. Damn. We're just not getting the lightning flashes at the right time. I can't exactly see what's causing the light, but there's there's something. Oh, hang on. Silhouettes. More dead gate builders. Or at least that's what I assume. the match you can't really see the details they're just they just are rock they're faceless god damn so many of them as well right we've got to go through what could do this I'm sure we'll find out at some point Okay, amulet, do your thing. And, oh no. Oh wait, what? <laughs> Falling straight down into the cave. Oh God. Oh. Uh, no. Welcome back to France, possibly? No, Elise. There's the monkey, though. What we got here? Alice in Wonderland. Of course. Okay. Something here, too. Oh, that's the sketchbook, isn't it? Yeah. I, I have to remember. Find Selim. Yeah. Find Salim. Right. Something in the drawer? 
Oh, there is actually, yeah. A notice of rejection. Ah, oh, no. Okay. Yeah, get this fucking chair out of the way. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I didn't notice an open door. Salim? There he is. God damn. Right. Elise? Elise? No, no, no. Elise! Elise! It's just a memory. It's just a faded memory. Right. Okay, I don't know what's going on now. I want to get out of here. Oh boy. Right. Time to go. Oh, yep. Can I get to the door? Oh, man. Whoa. Whoa. What? Right. What? Well, I'm alive. Where? Alice? Selim? No. Just wishful thinking, I'm afraid. No. It felt so real. Hmm. Are we back on Earth now? I think so. I think so. Huh? Something's different. I feel like I don't fit my body. Really? What the hell? I'm heavy. My gut feels like... Oh, oh God. Interesting. So, what do you think's going on? We'll find out a little bit more next time in part two of Amnesia Rebirth. Thank you very much for watching this first part. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe leave this video a like. Helps me out a great deal. Maybe leave your thoughts down below in the comments as well. Let me know what you thought. Yeah, I, uh... I think this is a so far so good kind of thing. It's quite slow going. There's a lot of reading to be done. But uh, it feels like the spooks are coming. I think really we're just sort of getting used to the location here. Getting used to the characters. Getting emotionally attached to them. But yeah, we are getting glimpses of strange worlds, humanoids rising, lights in the distance, and I don't know exactly how to describe that last little segment, but I'm interested, I'm intrigued. So uh, yeah, hopefully you are as well, and hopefully you'll join me back for part two, coming soon, alright? See you then. Ah, oh, they're my friends! <laughs> Whoa! Do not allow yourself to fear. You understand me, Tassi? Easier said than done. There you go. Ooh, what is that on your wrist? Okay, yeah, that that's something I didn't have to worry about in The Dark Descent. I'm glad there's hiding in this game. That means there's something to hide from. <laughs> ah, I was hoping to find some laudanum. Right, yeah, but they're empty. Gah, fuck it. Maybe we're going to find someone alive at some point, but not before I take a look at this. That's right. I'm not sure this is the best idea. No, no, it probably isn't. Yeah, left is right. Mm, maybe left isn't right, actually. Yeah, your eyes do adjust to the darkness, but that's obviously increasing the fear. Especially when stuff like that happens. Well, let's stay away from any disturbing sights, shall we? Like that one! This is weird. This is weird and I love it. Whoa. Right. Shit! Ah! Oh! <laughs> I wasn't thinking about that. Holy shit. I'm gonna have to like drag that. And then. Whoa! Okay, fuck. This way? Yeah, this way. Seems safer. <laughs> but slippier! For I do not have a traveler's amulet, but I think I do. What wonders will we see? Probably less wonders and more horrors. Oh dear. Oh no. What the hell was that? I don't know. 
<laughs> I just don't want to get ambushed, you know. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Oh. That actually did spook me. Was I seen? Yeah, get this fucking chair out of the way. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I didn't notice an open door. Whoa. Whoa. 